Hey all, um, I'm ma I'm making this video, just a quick little video, uh, because I received a comment on my um, uh, retro coloring video uh, recently, uh, where someone was having a problem figuring out how to create a line art channel. Um, so I thought, you know, I, and I tried to answer it as best as I could in the comments, but then I thought, you know, it's not a bad idea. Um, to create a video uh, just to demonstrate how to do it. I mean, it's pretty basic, so it won't take, it won't be too difficult to do. Um, now, of course, if you've taken my uh, Learn to Color Comic Books 101 course, uh, you know, I have a setup action in there that does all this for you. But I just wanted to just go over how to, um, you know, do it manually. So, all right, so I'm just going to open up a file of line art in Photoshop. All right, and here we go. There's our line art. We're in the layers palette over here. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is hit Command A, or I believe that's Control A if you're on PC. I'm on a Mac. Um, all right, and that selects the canvas. Then I'm going to hit um, Command X to cut, and that cuts the line art. Now, actually, I'm going to undo that because I want to demonstrate something. Um, uh, right now, you're going to want to have white in your background palette on here because here, if I switch it around and I have the uh, black as my background color, and then I hit Command X, you notice it's going to make the uh, canvas black, and you want it white. So, just when um, before you do this, yeah, I'll just hit Command Z. All right, just before you cut, hit uh, D on the keyboard, and then that will reset your um, your foreground and background colors to black to black and white where you want it. So okay, so I do Command X to cut the line art. Now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to hit the Channels palette. Um, well, right now it's on grayscale, but it doesn't really matter for this. Uh, so I'm just going to hit this little icon down here. That creates a new alpha channel. And actually, I'm going to rename it Line Art because that's, I like to have my labeled Line Art. And then I just hit Command V. And there we go. My line art is now on a channel and no longer on a layer. I command D to deselect, and then from there you just I just going to go up to gray, and you notice the line art disappears. You just hit the eyeball, so that way you don't have that channel selected, um, but uh, but you can see it, and then that way you can color underneath it and like I said it's grayscale so from here um, whatever um, uh, whatever mode you're going to be coloring in if, if it's CMYK or RGB you would convert from there um, but yeah that's that's all there is to it uh, to put your line art onto um, onto a channel so that way you can color without having to worry about the line art getting in the way all right that's all. I hope that's uh, helpful to some of you, and I'll see you next time.